All right, so staying in the NBA, our favorite guy in New York, Mr. I, I'm, I'm going to mix my own vaccine and take it. Now, um, Kyrie Irving, breaking news out today that says he is interested in um, taking some of the, the, you know, COVID testing from the team. I think uh, whatever level of COVID testing that he's going to take will allow him to play away games right now. Um, it didn't specify if he was going to be back for the home games, but I did see away games. So, especially after what we just talked about in the last segment, Jay, what, how bad do Brooklyn need Kyrie right now? And is it the right move for the Nets to bring him back on a part-time basis? I, love, I, re I really love when teams come out with just the most principled of stands and positions. You got the GM, who was it, Sean Marks, come out there and say, uh, hey, uh, yeah, uh, upon further review, we don't want – look, if Kyrie can't play at home, we don't want him to play on the road. We don't want a part-time player. Yeah, um, well, we fast forward a couple months or so, and, uh, hey, Kyrie, can you come back and play on the road? We heard that. <laughs> we heard – we heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Between injuries and the health and safety, I think I find this to be comical. In a in a brave new world, with the vaccines and the masks and the social distancing and the testing and just everything in the world, and Dr. Fauci up there just you know telling them you better family better show the vaccine cards when they come over for Christmas and all this. Uh, in all of that. The Brooklyn Nets season would come down to calling one of the unvaccinated in to say that. I, I just find it, it's hilarious to me. It really is. Um, they said he wasn't going to play. Um, they are. I don't know. I'm just, just like I said a few minutes ago, they is 21 and 8. Why are they out here in panic mode? Like, look, this will pass. They won't have, you know, five, six people in health and safety protocol, whatever that even means. I'm just, I'm not even interested in it right now. Tell me how, tell me how many people are sick. Like Billy Donovan wants to ask, how many people are sick? Uh, so, but I just know. Look, if you're the Brooklyn Nets and you had a position, what, why, why even bother with this whole thing about um, a uh, a he, look? New York's got the most. They got all these rules and mandates and blah blah blah. So you you can't play for because you ain't been vaccinated. You can't. I don't know. I would have traded him then. If you're not, if he ain't gonna play, get him out of here. You could have, you don't, right. you could have got something. You don't mean to tell me like, hey, Orlando, you want Kyrie? You can sell some tickets down there. You a free state? Let's get him on down there. Do something. And now they come. Oh man, we struggling. Well, we got Kyrie. Uh, Kyrie, can you come back and play on the road, man? I know we said we didn't want to do that, but we, we can help us out a little bit. So <laughs> I'm. Drink they twenty one and eight. They're gonna be fine. I don't. I, I don't think they need to do this. And. The other thing is, like, how motivated? Does Kyrie want to play at this point? Like, I haven't heard a word from him. And uh, I'm just wondering, I'm just wondering, like, how motivated is he going to be? Is he going to be motivated to be a part-time dude and just not perform for his home fans at, at all? Like, I got, I, I'm not, I'm really, I don't love this. Um, it is going to be, I guess, good to, like, see him back at some point, you know, if they, if they make this happen. But, um, I don't know why, like, I wouldn't even like, I don't know why they come out here with these, like all these, it seemed to be like these principled stands if they weren't gonna worry about it. You know what else I'd be, I was just thinking about? Just what I'd like to know, and I, you know, shame on me for not knowing the answer to this, but I'd like to, I'd like to see what happened. Like, what if he just went out there and played in New York? What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do, find somebody? They gonna find the billionaire owner? I, I'd like to know, like, and that just goes back to my whole, like, my whole position about some of this nonsense was just COVID this, COVID this, COVID everything for, for years and years and years. It's 2023 and they released the Zulu variant and we still here and people are wearing three masks at a time. Just never ended. What if he just, I want to see it, just go out there and play. What's the penalty? What y'all going to do? Oh, find me. Okay. Find the owner. Find the owner. I don't, Drake, go ahead. I'm, I'm done with this. I don't, I don't know if it'll be. I, I think Adam Silver gonna have some questions to ask. Um, if you know what I'm saying, I, I don't know if he wanna like challenge the state like that because you gotta understand he has NBA teams in other states. 
So you start challenging one state. I don't know how that rubs off and correlate to you know the other states that you know California, for example, that that has oh, yeah. other strict mandates. Right. Um, right. So he, he, you know, what I'm saying he got a big plate there to eat. So I don't know if he want to you know push that envelope. Um, but what what this does, like what I wonder is, I think Brooklyn had a hard time finding a trade partner because See? I don't. I don't understand. Now you coming? I really don't like that the Brooklyn Nets are starting to backtrack on what they initially said. I I really like they they stance. Listen, we don't want a part time player. Either you are in or you out. If you out, then you out. Cool, whatever. You out, we won't pay you. Go do whatever you gonna do. And, and just, if we find and just to cut in real quick, Kyrie apparently they have no problem with that. Right. They, they are they are caving to a dude who don't even. Let's not care all that much. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, no, he, it ain't like he advocating on his social media or right. You know, his I agent miss, out here making. I miss playing basketball, y'all. Uh, I miss it. Let me back in. I get, I get, but, I get the Jocelyn Johnson. Put me in, coach. Oh, um, so, um, it, it looks incredibly kind of weak by the Nets to do backtrack and say, "Hey, you know what? We were just playing, man." Um. Yeah, jokes on you. Uh, you want to come back and play away games? But like I said, I, I do think that at, at some point, I feel like maybe they had a hard time finding a trade partner. And they said, listen, we're not paying them. I got it. But if we're just going to keep him here and he's a talent and we got Kevin Durant out here doing shoulder workouts every game because he got to carry the team with no James Harden, would it be the worst thing in the world to let him play away games? Would it be terrible to let him play since... No, and, and, and the problem is, just like in any sport, when the player diminishes his own value, it's very hard for the organization to get any value for that player. Kyrie has took a dump on his value. Let's just call it what it is. He done took a old national fashion boop over his value. By the way he's been acting, the way he's been like putting it. So most, I just feel like most teams like, even in Florida and Texas, like think about the teams in Florida and Texas. Houston ain't bringing them in to mess up their young core. Like nah, nah, we good on that. You know, Pop ain't dealing with them in San Antonio. You can go on and get that up. Pop ain't dealing with that boy crap in San Antonio. He did want him when he when he first left Cleveland. And he was like, oh, okay, yeah, we'll, you know, we can make something happen. But since all this shenanigans, no, nah, no, nah, Pop is over that. And then Dallas, they got Luka. They don't really need, you know, Kyrie. So, you know, I, I, I think the three the three teams in Texas was out on it. Then when you start looking at Florida, Orlando already a dumpster fire. So they just like, eh, do we really care that much to bring this guy down here? And we already, you know hot garbage you know what i'm saying so you yeah, and then miami they don't need them they already got their team set so i say all that to say maybe the only option Kyrie really got to play is for the nets to call him back and make him a part-time employee or the only option brooklyn really got at this point with them not knowing you know when james harden gonna come back or you know be fully back in is to call Kyrie back and play play on part time. So as I look at that, maybe part time is the the last course of action for both parties. So it's it's odd as it as odd as it is, this where we at.